Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Book Club. On this episode, I decided to talk about the Darius the Great series by Adib Karam. So far, the series is made of two amazing books. Darius the Great is not okay and Darius the Great deserves better. To be honest with you guys, I didn't, don't even remember how I found out about this series. Probably some recommendation on Goodreads. But I'm so glad that, that I found them because they are totally life-changing. Funny and heartwarming. Just a little trigger warning for a lot, lots of talk about depression. Um, so, the, in the first book, uh, Darius the Great is Not Okay, the story follows Darius Kellner, an American teenager, Iranian teenager, that is about to take his first ever trip to Iran. All of that is very overwhelming to him. He's dealing with clinical depression, a disapproving dad that only seems to connect with him over Star Trek, and bullying at school from Sola's um, minions of orthodoxy. When he gets to Iran, uh, he feels out of place, and he believes that even his own younger sister is more comfortable than him. But he also tries to get to know his sick but amazing grandfather, his loving grandmother that loves the tea. He brings her from America and makes for her every night and even the rest of his mom's family for the first time. It's awkward, and but it's also amazing. And there he meets a boy that will change everything, Sarab. See, Starius doesn't speak much Farsi. Sarab makes sure people speak in English so Darius can understand what's going on around him and he makes Darius interested in playing football again and even gives him an Iranian national football team jersey that for the first time ever makes him feel like a true Iranian. Together they start to understand that best friends don't have to always talk or even know each other for long. So spending days with Sarab playing football eating rose water ice cream and sitting together on a rooftop overlooking the Yazdi skyline quickly becomes the best memories that Darius ever had. In the second book, Darius the Great deserves better, uh, and without spoiling it too much, uh, we see Darius trying to deal with his life back in America and being an out and proud gay teenager that has his first boyfriend. He also starts playing football and joins his high school team, where for the first time uh, since Sarab, he finds friends that will stand behind him. Of course, there is some drama along the way, but it's such a good sequel to the first book, even leaving a little space for possibly a third one. I think I've mentioned uh, these in previous videos that grandpa pa grandparents are literally my kryptonite. I knew these books would leave me an emotional mess and I wasn't wrong. The relationship Darius creates not only with his Persian uh, grandparents in the first book but also with his grandmothers from his dad's side in the second book is really beautiful. The author did an amazing job showing the duality of life. You know, life is beautiful but also can be ugly. You have true happy moments but also a few sad ones that will really break your heart. And it certainly gave a new and fresh look into depression, for example. A very realistic one, especially in Darius' case, is something that is part of him, while also showing that there is so much more to him than that. We also have a lot of talks about rational discrimination, discrimination and how that contribu contributed to him feeling disconnected from his school, from his community, uh, bu bullying and how that affected him and later on his sister. Homophobia, especially after uh, he came out not only in his school but also how scared he was to come out to a more traditional Iranian family while also being scared of being a little disappointment to them. So I guess what really made these books so amazing for me was the unconditional love between a dad and a son, mom and a son, a brother and a sister, a grandson and his grandparents, one boy and his best friend. I really loved how these relationships were developed and evolved so much through the two books, especially Darius and his dad. I think that the point where these two sat down and talked uh, and start to started to understand each other and making an effort in being in each other's lives 
really broke me, but also made me super happy at the same time. Another big plus for me was the culture side of it. The author made such an interesting book in explaining the Persian culture and describing Iran in a way that really felt like we as readers were there having tea with them while watching Iranian soap operas or just taking a stroll in Persopolis. Really got a newfound respect for the culture and it was really, really enlightening. Also, all the tea talk. I love tea and I learned so much about it by the end of this series. Really so interesting to have a character like Darius be so passionate about it. So let me know your thoughts about uh, this series. As always, you can, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Rita's Book Club for more content. And just a quick thank you for everyone for all the support. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Happy readings!